Hey guys, Apple Lee here, back again with another video. And if you've recently purchased a new MacBook Pro 2016 and you're wondering how to install Windows 10, then I'm going to show you how to do that in this video using Bootcamp. So the first thing you're going to want to do is head into Safari, then type in Windows 10. I will leave a link down below to this website. You then want to hit Windows 10 and hit Confirm. And then choose your language. So I'm going to choose English International. And then once that is done, you want to select 64-bit download and it should start the download there, you can see. And depending on how fast your internet, it will take a while. So it is 4.24 gigs to install. So we'll check back once that is done. Okay, so Windows 10 has finished downloading. You can see it down here in the bottom right in the downloads folder. So you now want to head into Spotlight Search and search for Bootcamp. And then once that has loaded, you want to hit continue. And then you want to make sure you have the correct file chosen. So if you head into Downloads and then select Windows 10 and click Open. And then you have to choose how much you want to give to Windows 10 and to Mac OS. So you can see there, I can only give Windows uh, 102 gigabytes. That's the maximum. But I'll give it about 50 gigs. So there we go. And then you want to hit Install and then continue on battery power or plug it in. It doesn't really matter, just make sure you do have enough charge. And you can see there it should go ahead and download any supported software. So we'll check back once that has done and it should load onto Windows 10. So once Bootcamp has finished installing Windows 10, it should restart the computer and you should see the Windows 10 install on your laptop. So then you wanna select your language and then click next. Then if you have a product key, you can enter it now or if you don't, you can click down here, I don't have a product key, and you can still get onto Windows 10. You then want to select Windows 10 Home, and then click Next. And then accept the terms and conditions. And it should go ahead and start installing Windows 10. So once Windows 10 has finished installing, you can go in and set it up like a Windows computer. So you can click Use Express Settings, and then it should go ahead and restart the computer. And you can see here, you can go through the normal stage. So we'll go back once it has completed. So if you want to use Cortana, you can now click Use Cortana here, and then it should go ahead and set up the computer like normal. So once you get onto the desktop, this is what you will see, and you want to click Next down here and then accept the terms and conditions again. Click install, and it should go ahead and install all the drivers you need to run Windows on the Mac. So we'll check back once that's done. And then once Bootcamp has finished, it will recommend that you restart the computer. So if we just click finish, it should reboot, and you should be into Windows, and you can use it like a Windows computer. So you can now see we've rebooted onto the Windows 10 desktop on the MacBook Pro. And if we just head into settings, and then check system and then check about. You should see that it reads all the RAM and the CPU correctly. So that is how to install Windows 10 onto the MacBook Pro 2016. This should be the same for all other Macs as well. But if you guys do have any questions, do post them in the comments down below. And if you found this video useful, do give it a like down below as well. Very much appreciated. And I will see you guys in the next video.